What I'm going to do today is, uh, uh, you know, it's funny when I do these speeches and I prepare for them and I got these cards, uh, and literally this morning I had a bunch of thoughts and ideas, and we started planning these speeches like two months out, and I didn't know what to say. You've heard like amazing things. What am I going to say that's going to top particularly what Trina uh, and Christina just said? Like just amazing stuff. You've just got to go put this into action now. So I was talking to uh, Michael and Carrie and Kelly from events and uh, this morning, and they were like, tell them what's coming. Tell them about the vision. And I was like, I never tell anybody about the vision. And so what I have here is the vision. And you're going to be the first to hear it. I have literally never shared this with anybody. So here we go. You know, one of the things, people ask how I stay motivated. Uh, we've been doing this uh, for 23 years, and it really is a constant reevaluation of this vision. And I think, if, if anything, because I'm going to talk about a lot of, well, a few things that, that I think about that are literally distant sparks of ideas on the horizon. And I don't think they'll all come true, but parts of them will merge, and then uh, certain will get other information. They'll be like, okay, that really is a thing, and then it'll start to come together. Just as, you know, we, just as we did, let's say, um, 645 was a bit of a vision, and that was not the original program that I was foreseen to do with Amwala, but then, you know, but it was a spark, and we talked about a longer program, and it was like, yeah, but I want people people to feel good at the end of it. I don't want them to feel burnt out after the end of each workout. I want them to get to the end of it and not just be in great shape, but I want them to feel like they're in great shape. And that, so it, it got shaped there, but it wasn't the original little spark on the horizon. Uh, and now that turned into a, a great success. So great that I can wear a t-shirt on today. Um, okay, so here it is. This is not today. This is five to 10 years out. That's what I'm thinking. So. You know what's coming up, you know what we're doing in the next, you know, nine months or so. So let's talk about the fun stuff and where it might go. First off, the good news is it starts here. It starts right where we're at. Carrie put the mission up for me just so we're rooted in that. Every day, it literally starts here. The vision, though, is to scale this. Help people achieve their goals to lead healthy, fulfilling lives. And part of that includes, obviously, fitness and helping them improve their nutrition. But it's also about helping people take advantage of their own opportunity, their own capability to create meaningful cash flow, meaningful wealth, or independence, or whatever their vision is for themselves. That's a part of that. And we need to do it for more people. In five to ten years, I expect this to be even more important as more people are needing opportunities that they can be in control of. Now, we will be the first company to reach 10 million digital health and fitness subscribers. Right now, we're at 2.4. Okay? So we need to grow by a factor of four. That's, that's my first, that's sort of a, a first goal. You know, I got a 20 year goal built up in the 100 million area, but I gotta get to 10 first. So I gotta figure that out. That's a spark on the horizon. Millions of people will be turning their health around yearly. The Beach Body Challenge will continue, the prizes will grow, but we will see a flood of more and more people sending in their positive um, examples of transformation physically, mentally, emotionally. These are the things that we will attract, and you will be the people that help attract them. And how does this vision relate to being a public company? Let's go there. We'll be a stock trading well in the hundreds. But more important than that, not only will the stock be trading in the hundreds, but our coaches will own a significant piece of the company that they are helping build. How do we do that? One of them is an evolution or a, 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 an innovation that really is just about to be unleashed. Body is a very important part of the vision. This has been a vision that I've been uh, working on and had various iterations uh, and dreams about uh, the body platform for probably probably 14 years. And, and I, but it even goes back to like 2000 when, when we were doing the uh, 
Power 90, the original Power 90 test group, and the guy who ran this gym uh, where we were doing the test group, I said, Carl, come here, you know? And uh, what? He goes, he took me into the room and it's spinning. And he's like, I don't know what you guys have coming up next. Like Power 90 was our first program. He's like, he's like, but you gotta do something with these bikes. Like when I go into this, the people on these bikes are just drenched. It's like a pool underneath them. You gotta figure out a way. That was 2000. And I'm like, we're gonna get to that someday. And we've always thought about it, you know, maybe because there's, you know, there's been stationary bikes for sale forever. So like maybe we'll just create great content, but you know, music needs to be a part of it. So it all never came together. And then certainly Peloton gave us good indications of how it can be done. Then we met the mixed bike people and they made it heart rate based training and all of a sudden it became real the way we like to do it. Not a leaderboard where people are beating each other's brains out and the bike becomes the enemy if you're not an alpha male. Instead, that bike is a friend that's just helping you with your heart rate based training to feel good about the workout that you've got. It all came together. Well, body is going to expand. It's going to expand in genre from fitness to lifestyle content, meditation, cooking shows, wellness programming, 24-7 live content in multiple languages, global. That's my view for both. And the important part of that is it's going to feature you. You are going to be the stars. Our customers are going to be the stars. As we've always done, it's going to be fun to bring along celebrities and all that kind of stuff. But one thing that I'm really proud of is this company has never really leaned on the power of celebrity for its growth. It's leaned on the power of real people, reality and authenticity for its growth. And that's why we have the podcast. What a dream come true. Well, I expect that to expand as we go to 24-7 content. Globally, we'll be in all the time zones in multiple languages. We're going to need people in that podcast. You will be the stars. I love that. Now, that content will be built inside technology. I'm looking at technologies right now that will blow your mind. Like, I really can't talk about it. Some of them are uh, patent pending. I'm under non-disclosure agreements. But I'm looking at technologies to incorporate into the body infrastructure over the course of the next two to three years that will make people wonder why they ever went to Group X rooms. Like, it's just crazy. So, technology will be a bigger and bigger part of the fitness experience, but all designed to not be technology for technology's sake, but technology to enhance the human experience, help people achieve their goals to lead healthy, fulfilling lives. It's all coming, and I'll share details as it comes along, but I want you to know that, like, I have about a, personally, I'm 57, I, um, I think I've got about a good 10 years left. Uh, I, like, I, I can't imagine doing anything else for at least 10 years. I don't know if they'll let me stick around past then, but, you know, maybe I can just be the guy doing myself around. <laughs> <laughs> they can't pry this key out of my hand. I think bod groups, uh, my vision is for bod groups to not just be this sort of uh, glue between bod and body, but actually my vision, as we're talking about, right, little dreams and fancy, but also vision, spark on the horizon, I think bod groups can be the most profound social media platform in the world. Yeah, I think it's not going to be just fitness but a social media gathering place where people can count on free speech to be maintained. Yes, people, yes right? And, but it's built around people building each other up. People having a positive outlook. People wanting to be in bod groups because that's where they go to feel good. They can bring problems there, but their problems are gonna be solved. They're not gonna be criticized for their problems. They're gonna be supported in their problems. That's what bod groups will become. Equipment, we're gonna expand our equipment line. Not just a bike, but sensible expansion that helps the world. This has been a, a vision for over 10 years now. Um, and I think we're just getting up to the next bike. But I've always wanted to, uh, I've always loved this concept that the greatest health center, like the home, should be your health center. And the house should be built around more than the TV room. But maybe, you know, the TV room, the kitchen, and the master bedroom, sort of the main, sort of, let's make sure those are the best. Like, I want 
the, the center of the house to be about caring for our well-being, caring for our fitness and our activity so that the kids and the grandparents and visitors, people understand that this is a priority for us. That gets built into the house. And we will support that with designs and with equipment that's suitable to helping people stay active into their golden years and for the kids to understand that because it's in the center of the house, it's at the center of our existence. I'm seeing a broader range of supplements, not just designed for weight loss, but like Shakeology, like other things that are coming, a line of supplements that people have easy guidelines to follow that will help them treat themselves like the biological machine that they are instead of a mechanical machine that just reacts to medications and chemicals. Instead, we're looking at the organic, living, breathing, vital systems that respond to various natural and homeopathic solutions that will help the body treat, but also avoid sicknesses, diseases, and other circumstances, even emotional trauma, that can be served with access to quality supplements. Now, Beachbody will be known as the provider of the highest quality, but not just, not just a rack of supplements, but an approach and a strategy so that people know, what supplements do I need? You know, you walk into a vitamin shop, and you're like, um, take one of those, take four of these. They've got a lot of letters, I'll take those. No, I want people to understand, this is when I take this. Like it's not just one size fits all, here are my five bottles. It's gonna be, these, these, are, the, these are the capsules I need to take now, these are the ampules I need now, and so on. Love that. Fit clubs. <laughs> Fit clubs, now this one is really exciting to me. And this is where I really get into the vision that sort of gives me the shivers. Um, I see in our future that fit clubs are gonna be something that coaches start, where our coaches bring people into workout. They can do our workouts, they can be like gyms, they can maybe sell memberships to them, I don't know. But I see these fit clubs, these buildings maybe 2,000 square feet, 1,000 square feet, but I see them becoming the new commons. I talked about the center of the household as the center of wellness. I also think we need to see a shift, and there's a spark of an idea out there where the coffee shop is not the place to meet, or the bar is not to meet, is not the place to meet, but the Beach Body Fit Club is where we go and we hang out and talk about healthy stuff. <laughs> created and run by coaches with the prospect that coaches, okay, now we're getting into the sky here, but this is what I believe, and this is what I'm trying to steer our messaging, our content, and our decisions toward, where our coaches <clears throat> become the community leaders, where our coaches, not the government, <clears throat> Our coaches become as important to discourse and dialogue and steering the sentiment of a community as clergy, as doctors, and government officials. Human beings who have made a choice to help people achieve their goals at every strata in life, to lead healthy, fulfilling lives. Our coaches transcend something that the haters would go, oh, MLM, I'm anti that. Um, and instead go, thank God this group of coaches stepped up when society needs a group of leaders who are humane and human and believe with their hearts that they can help people be better. These are the kind of leaders I think the world needs. self-improvement and self-acceptance. A very important thing, and this is the journey of Beachbody and Team Beachbody. It used to be sort of about self-improvement, but we have to balance self-acceptance at the same time. I can see where I, I expect it to be that Success Club is a foregone conclusion. Over a million coaches being productive every single month, but Success Club is like, what? 
Of course, I did success stuff. I did that on day one. What I'm doing right now is working on how many people can I get in this little fit club that I've got going on. They're all trying to do this gut health program. They're trying to finish it and get great results. I can make sure they all succeed. Like, I want this to be about that, that you pop out of bed and your massive teams of millions pop out of bed because they're like, this is feeding my soul. This is not something I have to defend or I even have to wonder if I'm motivated. It is feeding your soul. Coaches and their teams will be the people who build a business model that is so powerfully positive that people can't resist but to participate. That's what I want because of your demeanor in the community, they're just like that fit club, that Zoom call, I just have to plug into that. And yes, the haters will be like, well, that sounds like a cult. Well, if a cult is a place to be happy, sign me up for that cult. <laughs> honestly, get off my back. I, we're just trying to help people be healthy and happy for once in a while. <laughs> if you need to throw it into some garbage heap of being snarky, go do it, but take, get off of my, just go. And thank you for telling me you're unfollowing me. <laughs> We're gonna be a group so proactive about helping people that even our own conflicts with each other will be able to get resolved. And this is important. We're not all gonna be all friends all the time. When you work together this long, there's going to be conflicts, there's going to be misunderstandings, there's going to be jealousy, there's going to be confusion. But as a group, just as we want to help people achieve their goals to lead healthy, fulfilling lives on the outside, we'll, we will be as proactive and protective about strengthening our relationships on the inside by confronting our issues and talking openly and not letting this shatter into a bunch of little different silos. We will work together to reconcile conflicts. That's the kind of network we'll be. No jealousy. Mutual support. Cheering each other on as we are also competing, as we work through issues to build this company. Okay. All of these little things, equipment, launch of body, the growth of body, millions of subscribers, stock price that's soaring, all of this is designed around a vision that is not mercenary. By mercenary, I mean, let me just get the money. What I'm talking about is missionary. A mission to help more and more people. It's like so possible. It's just like, why can't this just double tomorrow? Aren't there just double of you that want to be in this room? I know there are. That's the vision, that it's just that easy for us to recruit and bring in people who are like, I'd like to be a part of something that has that vision, that wants to help people that way. That's what we're building, where the individual doesn't feel isolated and alone in the process. They feel like they are a part of a community, just like Trina said, accepted as they are and excited to be influenced and motivated to become better. Because we can all become better at the same time that we love who we are. This vision is not going to be perfect. I promise you that. You're going to bust me for thinking that wasn't part of your vision. That's completely contrary to your vision. Well, visions change, like I said at the beginning. Constantly reevaluating and rethinking what is the vision? What is the best thing for this? But not once do I look at that vision and go, which one of these things is going to make me the richest? That's never part of it. The thing that I'm thinking about is, I know that I'll do well, my family will do well, if you do incredibly well. And if you are doing it in a way that's fun and attractive to other people. That's what it's about, and that's what makes it fun. So it doesn't matter how much money flows, what matters is how exciting it is for people. And if we can achieve that through constantly evolving and building the vision and working on our own vision, you having, giving yourself the freedom to think how many of those 10 million subscribers that he wants can I bring into my team? Literally. How many people in Indianapolis would you say? 150, 200,000? Big quarter million maybe? Half a million, okay. Half a million people in Indianapolis. 
Okay, there's, there's, we have, I think it's 2.4 million subscribers right now. We should pick up a half a million subscribers from Indianapolis. Like, why not? Binghamton, New York, 300,000-ish people. Let's get them here. They, 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 they should all have the center of their house being their, the center of their wellness. There should be multiple fit clubs there where they can get together and they're not like, let's go get a cup of coffee, let's go get a beer. But they can come there and go, let's be well and share something healthy together. That's what we can do. That's what's going to make it exciting. And all this starts now. How exciting is that? It doesn't start in five years. This is the process of working our way there. We can be this now with a mind shift in terms of how we think about this. If we don't think of ourselves as some cheesy MLM, just trying to get people in success club, so let me see if I can get my aunt to be a coach, and I might be able to get that to be an emerald, and then that's gonna be a diamond, and I hope everybody holds it for six weeks. No. <laughs> if instead, it's, this experience is so rich, and so amazing, and these products work so well, people will, they will just be attracted to it. That's what we offer. That's what attracts me to it. Like, like trying to manage the comp plan and the structure and the ranks, I would be bored to death. But you talk about how many people we can attract to a special event on body, to premier week, how many teams can we make for Team Cup? Now you've got my interest. Now we're moving the needle. Now it's feeding the vision. Show me that slide, Carrie. Let's, let's take people back a couple of months. Next one. You know, I jumped around the stage for 20 minutes talking about scrappy, relentless, hungry, unstoppable. Made a fool out of myself. But this was about toward what? Toward money? Toward self-interest? Or was it about toward your team? I think what it meant for me was toward your team and toward your organization. Scrappy, relentless, what is it? Un <laughs> unstoppable, about what you and your team can do. That's what the vision's about, where people don't have to ask, how do you stay motivated? Because they're so excited by what they're doing that this is just natural because of the team that you're surrounded by. And I think, of course, there's gonna be days that you don't have it, that you're not feeling it. Like it's gonna be feel so good to be here, we're gonna have this party tonight, and then there's gonna be that moment, I always talk about it, you get home and <laughs> back home on Zoom. And, and it's just not gonna feel scrappy, relentless, hungry, unstoppable. It's gonna feel just, all right, come on, go. Please. What did they say? What did Trina say? Communicate? All right, so. It's gonna come down to three words. Just don't quit. That's what you need to be. But it's gonna take time. I mean, it's crazy how many people think that uh, two, three years to build a business is a long time to succeed. Two, three years to build a business, yet they will spend 40 years in a job broke. <laughs> This is the opportunity. Opportunity does not mean entitlement. It means it's the opportunity to create wealth for yourself and to have an impact on people. It's not, you're not entitled. Not everybody we post to will be like, I'm in. It's the opportunity to help them. But you know what? It's great to have a bold vision. Lots of failure will happen along the way and that's what you have to internalize. You have to expect that to get to the, so I have to expect, that in order to get to 10 million subscribers, in order to get that stock up into the hundreds, sharing the productivity and value of what we're creating, it's going to slide into now 10, down to 5, up to 15. Like, it's going to be all over the place because people don't get it. Nobody has done what we're trying to do. Nobody. There's nobody we can just copy. Like we're not just building the next phone or the next computer or the next widget. This is something that is respecting and appreciating humankind 
more than any other company that I know in the world. That's what you were doing. And that means we're creating it as we go. And that means there will be failures along the way. And people will misinterpret us. But we're going to do it anyway. That's the vision. The winners are not the people who never fail. The winners are the people who never quit. That's what you've got to remember. Okay. I also want to say, look, what we go through every year is... And it always happens right about now. But it happens almost after every launch, really. So with so many launches next year, it's gonna happen a lot. You'll get tired. And you're like, oh my god, 24-7. It's okay to get tired. Learn that when you get tired, what you need is rest. When you get tired, you don't need to quit. When you get tired, you rest. Teach your teams that. Now look, this vision that I'm talking about, this is an interesting one, is 23 years old as of yesterday. We started this company on October 1st, 1998. Happy birthday. But even though it started literally 23 years ago, yesterday, it starts today for me. It starts every day. I don't take any day for granted. I don't think we've got it nailed any day. I'm open to revisions and changes. I mean, the, the thing that frustrates the folks in the company the most and, uh, and, and how I have such respect for our super trainers and our product development people, like literally, 